the present video is on uh, BJT circuits part 4 on amplifier analysis in the last video which was part 3 we considered uh, uh, various uh, models uh, for BJT and uh, in this video we will discuss the method used for the analysis of uh, amplifier circuits. A typical case of common em emitter amplifier is taken here for illustration. Performance parameters uh, such as input resistance, output resistance, current gain, voltage gain are evaluated for both the model types that is uh, for the RE model and the hybrid model and uh, further uh, some video solutions uh, would be uploaded for gate problems to uh, further illustrate the procedure ok we uh, start with the uh, BJT circuits uh, uh, especially the part 4 on amplifier analysis uh, amplification uh, basically uh, increases signal power, it may increase signal voltage or it may increase signal current or signal power and this uh, increase is obtained at the cost of the DC power that means uh, DC energy is converted and uh, used in amplifying the uh, amplifier circuit. Linear amplifier so, are the amplifiers uh, which are uh, where the output is directly proportional to the input and most of the amplifier which we will consider here are in the category of linear amplifier. So we classify these uh, amplifiers uh, depending upon their mode of operation like um, uh, small signal and the large signal amplifier that depends upon the signal strength type class A, class B, class C or class D amplifiers that means uh, biasing arrangement type this uh, DC couple or RC couple is based on the coupling method used for the amplifier then again single stage or multi stage amplifier and so on there are uh, many more uh, classifications of these amplifiers some of them have been talked about here now, for the BJT amplifiers, we apply a DC source and the purpose of DC source is to set up the biasing voltages and currents in the circuit. And uh, when we apply the input, AC input to amplify, it uh, produces the fluctuations in these uh, uh, DC voltages and currents and by the way, by this way we get uh, amplification of the signals. So the analysis of these amplifiers is uh, 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 divided uh, in two parts. Uh, one is the DC analysis. This DC analysis uh, what it does it reduces the AC source by the internal resistances and uh, and uh, we open all the capacitors because for DC the capacitors are open circuit and uh, then by doing so we determine the DC bias uh, conditions then um, while doing the AC analysis we reduce the DC sources to zero and short all capacitors because for AC the capacitors are shorted and replace uh, BJT by its equivalent circuit or the model whatever suitable model is there you evaluate uh, you uh, you uh, take that model and uh, analyze the circuit the circuit is then analyzed and the performance is evaluated so uh, we'll take a, a simple uh, case here uh, let us uh, uh, let us take a case of a, say amplifier circuit it's a simple amplifier circuit. The 
this is the BJT. Uh, VVB and VCC are the DC uh, supply voltages, which VW biases uh, bias the input and the output uh, BJT junctions. And uh, VS is the sinusoidal input which is applied in the up to the amplifier, and you get an amplified output here at the uh, RC is the load resistance here, and R is indicated as the source resistance of the circuit, of the source resistance of the signal source. Now, uh, we have taken here a simple uh, example of a common emitter amplifier with a fixed bias arrangement. And uh, we have uh, tried to take this as a sample example to illustrate the uh, procedure for the analysis of this. So uh, again uh, this is a BJT. RC is the corresponding collector resistance. RB is the uh, biasing arrangement. That's a fixed bias arrangement. And VS is the signal source. RL is the load resistance. This is RE emitter resistance which is bypassed uh, uh, through this capacitor. And these are the coupling capacitors connected here. So, uh, uh, we can see here uh, for the DC equivalent, uh, we have uh, open circuited these capacitors here and uh, we get uh, this kind of arrangement for the uh, DC equivalent. Now, if we try to see the AC equivalent, AC equivalent circuit, what we do is, uh, we DC sources we short circuit and uh, the capacitors also are short circuited. Then uh, you get this RC, the capacitor is short circuited, and this source is also short circuited. You get output RC in parallel with RL, and this is the bias resistance which comes in ground, and this is signal source. So here, what we observe is this is the AC equivalent, and this is the DC equivalent of the circuit. And uh, here, you just uh, notice here this. AC load which were indicated by RL is uh, RC in parallel with RL. Sometimes the RL is not connected uh, in the circuit, so RC will act as a load resistance. So if RL is finite, then AC load is RL is equal to RC. Okay, we'll uh, see, uh, try to uh, evaluate uh, the performance amplifier performance for uh, uh, both kinds of models. Uh, here uh, we have already uh, drawn the AC equivalent circuit. This is the same AC equivalent circuit which had been drawn earlier. The only thing is uh, the uh, AC, the equivalent model of the BJT has not been put here. Uh, we have made uh, left a block here depending upon the type of model used you can introduce uh, those parameters here. Like if it is an RE model, this block will consist of this RE model part for BJT and if it is hybrid model, this part will come over here for the analysis purpose. So, uh, considering this, uh, we have uh, uh, tried to do the analysis uh, for some of the important uh, uh, parameters uh, of the amplifier, like input resistance Ri. Ri uh, Rn is the input resistance here. Uh, this is V in over Ib. And V in, V in you can see here, could be written as beta Re dash into Ib will give me the V in divided by Ib. So this reduces to beta Re dash. So for Re model, the input uh, resistances for the transistor is Rn. And if you want to find the input resistance for the stage, uh, that means uh, not only transfer but uh, the biasing arrangement also. So it will be RIS would be beta R dash in parallel with RB is the uh, biasing register here. Okay. So similarly, if it is um, uh, replaced by uh, the um, hybrid equivalent here, we notice here this Rn comes out to be HIE minus. HRE, HFE over HOE, one, 1 over RL. This approximately comes to HIE, 
Sindhachari is uh, very small. And uh, RIS uh, value here, uh, if I want to find the input impedance for the stage, it will be HIE in parallel, HIE in parallel with RB, the biasing resistor. Now the current gain EI is IC over IB and uh, that IC over IB is says uh, beta uh, for ori model and EI for the hybrid model HFE over 1 plus HOERL that nearly equals to HFE. So this is the value of the current gain. Voltage gain uh, uh, AV is V0 over V in beta IB into RL will be V0 and this is V in so RL over uh, RE dash for RE model and uh, voltage gain for uh, the hybrid model HFE over HOE plus 1 over RL into RN this comes to HFE RL divided by HE, HIE. So this is the value of the uh, voltage gain. The uh, corresponding uh, output impedance R0 uh, could also be determined uh, uh, here. R0 is equal to RC for RE, RE model and uh, while uh, uh, and for the value of source resistance RS is 0, R0 is given by HIE over HIE HOE minus HFE HRE this comes to nearly approximately 1 over HOE for the hybrid model. If it is to uh, evaluate the stage uh, output impedance, output resistance, it will be RO in parallel with RL. So uh, these are the various uh, parameters. Uh, now uh, here uh, we have given a table and this table uh, gives the amplifier performance uh, in both RE and hybrid model and we have considered here uh, these four parameters input resistance, output resistance, current gain and the voltage gain and uh, these uh, parameters uh, what are the approximate values uh, for all the configuration like common inter, common base, common collector configurations what are the values of uh, uh, these parameters and uh, they have been uh, given here for both uh, RE model and for H model just for comparison and this uh, table will turn out to be very handy to uh, to uh, evaluate estimate a uh, rough uh, performance of the amplifier here like here the input resistance RI is beta RE dash and uh, for, for common emitter for common base the value is RE dash and common character is beta RE, RE being the emitter resistance and for the uh, hybrid model it is HIE, HIB for the common base and HIC plus HFC RL for the common collector. Similarly the output resistance is uh, RC here, RC again for common base and RE dash for common collector and 1 over HOE, 1 over HOB and RS plus HIC over HFC is uh, for the common collector. Now um, Current gain beta, current gain AI is beta here for common emitter. This uh, value is 1 for common base, 1 plus beta for common collector. And uh, for the hybrid model, uh, its value is HFE. It is HFB here for common base, it's nearly 1, and HFC. Now, the last parameter is uh, voltage gain. Uh, this called voltage gain parameter is uh, RL over RE dash. It's RL by RE dash and nearly equals to 1 and uh, sub voltage gain and then HFE RL upon HIE, HFE RL upon HIB and this is nearly 1. So these have been some of the typical values uh, of these uh, performance uh, parameters uh, for the uh, transfer, uh, BJT transfer uh, amplifier uh, using these models. So uh, to summarize, uh, we observe here the amplifier performance can be evaluated having the BGT equivalent parameters. And uh, these days, um, RE model uh, approach is uh, more common and simple to use, although hybrid parameter approach is more accurate. So um, the 
uh, illustration here is done through only one uh, uh, simple example. Uh, further video solutions uh, of some gate problems will be taken up to uh, further uh, to illustrate the procedure that how the analysis is done by the amplifiers. Thank you.